what's up guys it's alani i'm continuing the prep series today so it is wednesday and we are 16 days out from my first show of the season so it's getting close a little bit under three weeks now yeah so i just woke up i'm at the gym now about to do my fasted cardio so i sent over check-ins yesterday to nick and adam i wasn't too happy with the way i looked but again that's what coaches are for keep me on track i try not to think about it and just let them tell me what to do i sent those check-ins yesterday i feel like i was holding a little bit of water i didn't feel super lean and my weight was not dropping as much as i wanted it to yeah, so I sent those over yesterday. Nick dropped my cardio from two sessions a day of 30 minutes, so 60 minutes total, to one session a day, 40 minutes fasted. And my meal four and five had 50 extra grams of rice. We started that yesterday. We're gonna continue on with that. After all of that, after the lower cardio, a little bit of a carb push, I dropped weight. I felt super tight and dry this morning. Felt leaner, felt good. My weight this morning was 120.4 and yesterday it was 122. Point one. I think that's just what I needed. So always remember, trust your coaches. They know what they're doing. Today, I just have fasted cardio, go back, eat. I'm gonna meal prep for the day. A Little bit of a busy day today. And then I'm gonna do a posing session later with Julie. We're gonna do that in person at one of the gyms about 30 minutes away from me. I've been um, wanting to really polish up my posing. So I'm gonna do a few sessions with her. So we're gonna start that off today and I will take you guys with me. So let's get inside. I'm gonna do my fasted cardio and I just got back from fasted cardio and abs. I did 40 minutes on the Stairmaster today. I always just wear my Apple Watch so I can track my heart rate. My average heart rate today was 150, so I was able to get it up a little bit higher. They want me between like 135 and 145. The past few days I've been doing incline treadmill and today I went back to doing the stairs and I think I liked that a little bit better. I was able to get a little bit better of a sweat. I've noticed my hip flexors have been getting like a little bit sore from incline treadmill, just kind of stressing them a little bit. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna switch it up and go back to Stairmaster today. I've just been making sure to not put my hands on the rails. I would get bad about like, putting my weight on the rails. And so you can't really get your heart rate up that way. I've just been throwing on YouTube videos. Mainly just, I watch a lot of gym content or I'll watch a lot of informational YouTube videos about online fitness coaching um, and trying to grow that business so that I can soak up as much information as I can since it's 40 minutes every day that I have to be on that Stairmaster so I might as well be learning something from it. So I'm gonna make meal one, eat. And I'm gonna do some check-ins for my online clients and edit some more YouTube videos. And then we're gonna head back to the gym, train some clients, lift. We have quads up today with Adam. So I'm probably gonna die today again. And then we have posing later at four. So kind of a jam-packed day. I'm gonna eat now so that I have enough time in two hours to eat my pre-meal before I lift and I can have everything digested before we hit quads. So yeah, I'm gonna start making that and then I'm gonna eat. So this is what we have for meal one. The meal plan is still the same as when I told you guys last time in the last episode. Still two eggs, 50 grams of green beans, and 20 grams of protein isolate. So I'm gonna meal prep for today because I have to take all my meals with me because I'm gonna be on the road running around all day today. So I'm gonna get those meals prepped and ready to go. I just prepped my pre-meal, so I'm gonna head back to the gym, eat this, train my client, and then I'm gonna hit quads with Adam after. So let's head to the gym. I don't need nothing for you. I jumped 
So I just finished up quads with Adam. That was tough. That was one of the hardest workouts I've had. All prep. At this point, it is honestly such a mental battle. Mind over matter at this point. Your body does not want to function. So pushing past that and pushing to failure every set on quads. It's definitely tough, but it's what we needed. That's what he's there for. Keep pushing me so it was a great workout it's one of the last few leg workouts of prep and then i'm gonna let my legs recover so that the water weight can come down and the inflammation can come down before the show and get those lines and get that conditioning just keeping that in mind while i'm pushing hard so now i'm gonna eat my post meal and then i'm gonna head out to posing with julie let's get on with it your location, let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come to So I am on my way now to posing. It is literally pouring. The gym that we're going to is Fitness Systems in Sawgrass because they have a posing room. So I'm gonna meet her there and we're gonna do some posing. Just make sure that my routine is all polished up because I, I really don't want to leave anything on the table. So I wanna check all the boxes, give myself the best shot that I possibly can. So yeah, I'm gonna meet her there. And my summer classes for college just started, so I am literally gonna watch my lecture on two times speed as I'm driving there. All right, I'm gonna head there. Lean forward a little bit too. Beautiful. Right there. That fucking pose right there. That's amazing. Awesome. Turn towards the back. Give me a little bit. Right there. Yep. That looks so much better. So much different. Yeah. Good. Turn around. Hold that pose right there. There you go. Give me a little bit more lap. There you go. And lean a little bit forward. Give me more lap here. Bigger. There, right there. Good, and lean a little bit forward. You're a little bit like back here. Okay. Stand up, stand up more straight is kind of what I mean. Okay. So remember your judges are down there. Yeah. So if you're up here, it's gonna look like you have no shoulders. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more lap, adjust that lap. Right there, push back, you mix. Good, four, there you go. Soften up that knee. There you go. Right there. Look at the, the glute difference when you soften up that knee. I see the glutes. If you do this and your glutes are not that popping, you're gonna show your defect, right? Okay. Pick up the lap. There you go. Just like if you're on stage. And there's the back. Take a little bit more time in that second pose. Okay. Show that off here. That pose looks good on you. Right there. Boom. Look at it right there. Good. Soft knees and push up there. Boom. Again, towards me. Lap, a little bit more right there. Don't be scared to adjust on stage. Okay. If you feel like, eh, feel adjust. Like just, okay. Adjust, so okay. that's not enough. There you go. Shoulders to me, right there. Good. Mm -hmm. Spread the shoulders out, open the lap. Push the hips back a little bit. Soft knee, right there. Mm. There you go, nice. Softer knees, there, right there. You go. Mm. Turn. Mm -hmm. Step forward. Mm. Each pose matters. Do them all. With intention, good.